and the first thing is just make sure the car is in park and the ignition is off and we use a primer bottle just with regular gasoline and we'll open the butterflies and just give it a shot right there just to aid in the starting when we, I first hit the ignition and we use a little feeler gauge to crack the butterflies open it helps aid in starting and right there just making sure the car is in park and so what we'll do is we'll just spin it over and I'll hit the ignition and right after the engine lights you feed the fuel with the bottle and it all varies from you know car to car how much you're gonna have to feed and how long you're gonna have to feed and it all comes you know from experience but once it pick, picks up the fuel the it'll go from a smooth idle to kind of like a cackling so you can kind of back off on the bottle and you just kind of know by the sound of the engine and when, when it picks up the fuel and once again here we're gonna prime it right there with gas and then we're gonna insert the feeler gauge to crack the butterflies open right there and so spin it over and I'll hit the ignition and right after the engine lights you wanna feed feed fuel with the bottle It'll go again from a smooth idle to a slight cackling and then you know that the engine picked up the fuel. And here's a situation where it lights, you feed, you back off on the bottle, it starts to die, so you feed again, it starts to die, and you just feed and you know it's, it, it takes practice to you know get used to how much to feed. Because uh, too much you're gonna flood it and not enough is gonna die. So all comes down to experience. And here's another situation where you crank it and feed and this is the Hemi so it's probably not enough fuel and it died so I'm gonna try again. In this situation I or in this car I don't have any control over the ignition. Uh, Bobby he's gonna pull the mag wire so you're gonna see crank he pulls the wire and then you just feed Stay lit. So, there you go. And here's another situation where it lights, you feed, you back off on the bottom, it starts to die, so you feed again to keep it alive. And it stays lit. And the driver shouldn't intervene, he should just let the crew handle the car, don't give it throttle, just let the crew keep the car alive. Uh, driver should just be checking oil pressure, making sure that's okay.